Hello, Common Sensors. Welcome to Common Sense Academy. Today, we're going to take a look at a video of uh, some Moors being evicted and then arrested and using some really, really unfortunate language during this transaction. Now, this video was recently uploaded. Looks like March 19th, 2020. I think that this is happening during the quarantine or right before the quarantine, and I'm, but I'm not exactly sure where this is going down. So I hope you enjoy this video. I'm Joe Pometto, Joe the Lawyer. If you like my content, please like, subscribe, comment, and share. Please subscribe. I'm trying to get to 10,000 subscribers. Most of my viewers are actually not subscribed. Once I get to 10,000, then uh, YouTube opens up new features for me. I can have a merchandise shelf, do some cool stuff with my videos. Also, uh, many of you come here just just for the same time sip. Today, I'm not sipping coffee, but if you like to sip coffee, this is the coffee that I recommend, Black Rifle Coffee. This company is owned by veterans. A percentage of every profit, I'm sorry, a percentage of every sale goes to veteran supporting organizations. Also, I'm a veteran, Joe the Lawyer, Air Force veteran, if you purchase this coffee through my link below, I get a small percentage of the profits. Not to mention, it's great tasting coffee. It has extra caffeine. There's a whole bunch of options. Click on the link, look around, and grab one. Thank you very much. Now, before we watch, everyone, raise your glass, raise your stein, raise your cup in the air. Let's sip together. Let's do the same time sip. It tastes better when we sip together. Yep, you guessed it. Yep, carton tea. Who else out there drinks carton tea? Let's drink. It's my quarantine special. Usually I don't drink all this stuff, but now that we're quarantined, it's like uh, it's like uh, potato chips and cookies all day. Now enjoy this video. Dude, the sheriff's department, he's a moor. He is not black, he is I'm not, not colored. Alone. He is not black, he is not colored. He is not African American, he is not Negro. He is a moor. You cannot do this to him. You cannot do it. You cannot do it. He sued the sheriff's department, he's a moor. He is not black, he is I'm not, not colored. Alone. He is not black, he is not colored, he is not African American, he is not Negro, he is a Moor. You cannot do this to him. You cannot do it. You cannot do it. Because everything's changed, and about getting your stuff, you have to arrange it with the landlord. Yes, but that's my thing. You can't just, it's unlawful yeah, eviction, and you can't just lock someone out yeah, when I went a, to the store. There's a proper way to evict, would, go about an eviction. I was you know, here somebody, and this is not all, proper. I was here all day waiting for the sheriff to come because the sheriff is supposed to be the one that issues the writ of execution. The sheriff only does it when it's foreclosures and bank owned. This is done by the municipal police and that um, officer you saw banishing were for, I believe it is, from the sheriffs. And this is done by the municipal police. So as far as the municipal police, where do they get their delegation of authority from? They follow the attorney general and the prosecutor's office. Okay, so for the attorney general, I've sent information in because I'm not a, um, okay, so first of all, okay, so you get it from the attorney general. The only um, branch of government that can give delegation of authority is Congress. So that's not a lawful delegation of authority. Unfortunately, they have the notices, the paperwork that I follow. And the doors are locked, so we can't help you get back in there. Yes, but it's an unlawful eviction. And then you can go to court and fight that. But as of right now, we can't let you in. Okay, but as for my things that are being they unlawfully are, held, they are safe and secure. And you have to no, they're not safe and secure. Okay. No. And then it's even as far as the landlord goes. I like I said. I, first of all, I'm I'm not even supposed to be dealing with you. I'm supposed to be dealing with the sheriff. I called the sheriff. I went to the sheriff's department. No one is there. And as far as the quote unquote landlord or the sheriff, you know, the sheriff proper, he has no. yet, he won't answer. You like you do. Why are you so at me so Meanwhile, my things are not being taken. Why is it? It's theft. It's a violation it, of my Fourth and Fifth Amendment and I'm, right to due I'm process just, and illegal you. searches and seizures. Okay, house niggers. I'm just telling you that you can't, we can't get you in there right now. Yes, because you don't have the authority because you're not the sheriff. The what sheriff? Are you saying? No. The you sheriff. You're calling me a house nigger, right? Alright. Put your hands behind your back. No, you're off. You're off. You're off. I'm taping. I'm taping. I'm taping. Oh, all of it. All of it. All of it. You can't do this. You can't do it. You can't do it. You can't do it. You can't do it. I'm taping 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 it. You cannot do this. It is unlawful for you to do this. It is unlawful for you to do this. It is unlawful. You will. 
will be sued. You will be sued. You will be sued. You will be sued. You will be sued. The sheriff's department, he's a lord. He is not black. He is not colored. He is not black. He is not colored. He is not African American. He is not Negro. He is a moor. You cannot do this to him. You cannot do it. 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 They're gonna try and kill you, baby. They're gonna try and kill you. No, I'm not backing up. I'm moor. You can't do this. You cannot do this, and you will be sued. You will be sued, baby. Baby, no, no, because you will. Put your hands on me. Put your hands on me. Go ahead. Put your hands on me. You will be sued. You will be sued. No, 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 no. I'm a moor. You do not have the authority to do this. You do not have the authority to do this. Yes, I got it all on tape. I got it all on tape. I got it all on tape. I'm not doing nothing wrong. I got it all on tape. I'm not doing nothing wrong. It's unlawful. Wrong. This is an unlawful you imprisonment. You. you do not have the authority to do this. Where is your delegation of authority? This is unlawful imprisonment. You're trying to kill him. You're trying to kill him. You You're trying to kill him. You're trying to kill him. You don't have to do anything. It's an unlawful. It's an unlawful arrest. It's an unlawful arrest. It's an unlawful arrest. Like I'm talking to you. It's an unlawful you don't like arrest. I'm talking Freedom to you. of speech. Exactly. Freedom of speech. First Amendment. Right here, it speaks of it. Wrong. It, speaks of it. Me, it speaks of it. It's right Go. here. It Give says all hand. and any corporate officers of the United States and any successor organization inheriting federal no gonna call for backup? service contact. No backup? No backup? All foreign officials operating as elected and appointing officials of the United States of America minor who support, condone, promote such crimes against the American states. Or the American state citizen shall be subject to arrest, confiscation, and their assets, deportation. <laughs> such foreign office, such foreign officials include members of the Bar Association. I'm not doing nothing. Bro. We're licensed as privateers. No, it's an unlawful arrest. He has every right. He has every right to resist an unlawful arrest. He has every right to resist a lawful arrest. He's a moor. He's not colored, black, or negro. He's color of laws, authority that you have breathe. do not work. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. No, get off of him. Get off of him. Get off of him. No, no, get off of him. Get off of him. No, off of him. No, off of him. no, no, get off of him. Get off of him. No, get off of him. No, I will die. I don't care. I will die. I don't care. You will not kill him. You will not kill him. You will not kill him. Back up. Back up. Back up. Back the fuck up. Back up! It's an unlawful arrest! It's an unlawful arrest! Tell me to back the fuck up. You put your fucking hands on me, I'm a fucking moor. You're going to jail. Give them your hands. Give them your hands before they try and kill you. I got it all on tape. Don't worry. I'm gonna right, stop. You can let me right, know. Okay, man, back. Chill out! I'm not gonna let you break my arm. I'm not gonna let you break my arm. You won't let me? Or you won't let me do it myself? Get up. I got it all. I got it all. Yeah. You won't let me. I'm not gonna let you break my arm. I'm alright, but you let me do it. Unlawful arrest. Unlawful. Unlawful arrest. Well, this video was kind of a, a, a sad video here, folks. I mean, these people are getting evicted and then they're getting into a fight with the police. I mean, come on. You even heard during this transaction, one of the officers said, who apparently municipal police, you can fight this in court, go to court. Court is the right place to fight this is really uh some unfortunate language and just an unfortunate ending for these moors so let's break this down like i said this was uploaded on about march 19th 2020 it looks like they are being evicted i can tell you in pennsylvania the way it works is generally the sheriff here in allegheny county the sheriff is the one who will go and lock out a tenant whenever the landlord has gotten an order of possession remember 
Landlords have to get that order of possession. It's signed by a judge before they can lock someone out. Then the sheriff can go and change change the locks on someone's door. It appears that's what happened here, okay? And maybe these people caught the two uh, officers right when they were doing it, because generally, I don't know why they were standing outside of the unit and sort of like guarding it, but every town, every jurisdiction could be a little bit different. Um, she brought up sending information to the attorney general. What was going on is she was probably complaining about the landlord. Maybe the eviction was impending. That often happens when evictions are impending. Uh, tenants are going to pull out all the stops. They're going to uh, they're going to contact a whole bunch of different organizations to complain about the landlord. Lord. They might post negative reviews online, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So maybe uh, she had done something like this. Um, she says the only branch that can delegate is Congress. That's just that's just not true. Okay, the executive. If you're in a city or you're in a state, right? The executive is going to be a governor, a mayor, or the president. The go a governor, mayor, president. They can all delegate their authority. All right. Otherwise, they would have to be the person going around doing everything that that the executive branch can do. Um, so it's not true that only Congress can delegate authority. The executive branch or the congressional branch can delegate authority. Um, and that's kind of what you see here. You know, generally police, um, law enforcement, military are taking orders or even the sheriff sort of take orders from um, the executive uh, in that jurisdiction, though the sheriff is actually a little bit sort of a really very independent kind of position. Um, Unlawful eviction, he says, if this is an unlawful eviction, you can go to court. Unlawful eviction, go to court. So, you know, at the beginning of this, I don't, you don't know for sure that these people are sovereign citizens. Um, well, let me get to that in a second. Um, he, one other thing that they said is that their items, you know, the officers who were standing out there, the evicted property said, your items are safe and secure. And the tenant said, they're not safe and secure. Uh, in Pennsylvania, after an eviction, you, the tenant has 30 days to contact the landlord so that they can arrange to get their items out, okay? That may occur with, at least in PA, Allegheny County, with a constable or a sheriff present so that there's no damaging of property if, but you know, uh, unless both parties can get along. But there, it's it, the landlord is more or less required to preserve their property for 30 days. Now, if they don't make reasonable efforts to get their property within 30 days, it can be sold at a sheriff's sale. So yeah, their items are, I mean, is somebody going to watch over them for the next 30 days? No, but are they locked into a unit? Yes. So there's some truth uh, to both sides in this, this argument here. Um, it gets ugly uh, when the, 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 the gentleman says that the officer is staring at him at one point, the sovereign citizen, more stuff was tipped off when the woman called the landlord a sharecropper. And um, and then this guy, I, I believe that one of the officers was African-American, one of the officers was white, and the two individuals being evicted were African-American. And he calls the one officer a house blank. You watch the video. Uh, and the officer took that the wrong way because as soon as he confirmed that, they went after him. Now, um, can the police just arrest him for calling him a name? No. But it also said, they all, uh, the police also said that the guy was, was may, maybe making a physical action, okay? So that may have been their justification for taking him down. Do I know what really happened there? No. Can I see it in the video? No. Who's in, in the right or in the wrong? I don't know. But regardless, you shouldn't be saying stuff like that to a couple of uh, municipal officers who are just trying to do their job. They told, The right way to go about this is to go and fight this thing in court. Um, the woman then starts reading this piece of paper and that's when the whole, you know, she says he's not, a, he's not African-American. He's not black. He's a Moor. He's not, he's a Moor. He's a Moor. Okay. You think those municipal officers even have any idea what that means? And then she starts reading the sovereign citizen, um, creed that she has and uh, shooting a whole bunch of this stuff out of her mouth. Um, Maybe that's what got them into this jam in the first place.
was going into this sovereign citizen hole and reading and believing this stuff and believing that they weren't going to be evicted. Um, really, really a sad, a sad, nonsensical sort of thing. Please, people, please. Uh, we, we got a lot going on in this country right now with the coronavirus and the lockdown and and uh, the last thing we need is adding sovereign. Please, let, let's get past this sovereign citizen thing. Let's get over it. So I hope you enjoyed this video coming straight from the Common Sense Academy. I got my FDMY t-shirt on. That's for my friend Adam, who was on my last live show. He's a firefighter. He, he told us a story um, about an auditor at the firehouse. Check out my last live video. Thank you for tuning in. Joe Palmetto, Joe the Lawyer. If you like my content, go ahead, subscribe for me. Also, grab some Black Rifle coffee. This is what I drink at home. It goes to veterans in a whole bunch of different ways. Grab some Black Rifle. Thank you.